Dear friends, we are waiting for our next speaker, Cheratev Mikhail Nikolaevich, who was born in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg, finished uh, the chemical faculty of the, of the um, St. Petersburg and uh, was doing research in uh, uh, of space anthropology, one of founders and scientific secretary of Commission for Development of Scientific and Cultural Heritage of uh, Rory and Scientific Council of Space Research in the National Economy our Academy of Sciences, one of the main organizers of the first ever cultural program in space at the Mir Space Station Cosmos. Vice President. Person culture. Since 1996, Vice President of the International League for the Protection of Culture, participated in the work of the International Public Committee for the Implementation of the Project International Aerospace Global Monitoring foreign system, author of more than 60 articles. So, Chiratev Mikhail Nikolaevich, corresponding member of the International Academy of Sciences of Ecology and Human and Nature, Academy. advisor to the Russian Academy of Natural Sciences, Russia, St. Petersburg, and his report passes to the future. Thank you so much. Dear friends, congratulations uh, due to anniversary of 190 years since birth of H.P. Blavatsky. Uh, it is a great uh, milestone uh, for those who take philosophy with all their hearts. And uh, it's continued in uh, Theogene uh, in uh, the life ethics, and uh, it requires a much hard work. Now, during centuries, it creates certain rhythms. While listening to our speakers, uh, I experienced the thought, actually, if we go beyond our everyday life, there is no just space because this is fiery and it has a seeds of spirit. We are we have come from eternity and we are going into eternity. This boundlessness, this eternity uh, was often mentioned by Mr. Svetoslav Rerich. Um, and then uh, the past, the present and the future merge together and each and every of us starts to feel uh, these uh, adherence to some basis of being. What is the main, what leads us through Maya, through fight between uh, uh, karma and uh, freedom of will is the way of enlightenment and uh, the spiritual teacher, because there is no way uh, out of, of this darkness without any teacher. At the slide, you can see the side of HPV. Uh, you can, thou cannot travel on the path before thou hast become the path itself. She said uh, that before you should distinguish a true and false, the ever fleeting and the everlasting, learn above all to separate the head learning from soul wisdom, the eye from the heart doctrine. Um, so uh, this uh, heart mission was uh, brought by HPB and by Madame Helena Rerich. And Helena Rerich um, by being so impressed by HPB uh, that there are books of the secret doctrine and Mahatma led us. They give so much wisdom to our soul and uh, life even is not enough to learn all of that. Um, I would like to be at the beginning, not to be in the end, not to be in the uh, deadlock. So, Helena Rari actually was translating the sacred doctrine and out of Mahatma letters, she made this cup of East. In order to start, I'd like to remind you words of HPB related to modern method and way of learning, including in the science, 
that is waiting for confirmation by material um, confirmations is not worth uh, to find real knowledge to penetrate the real secret and Helena Rarich by saying in this context uh, what HPB said, said that she was a great patriot, that she will live in the foreign country and uh, her deeds were great without knowledge of a language, without anything she came to him in order to reveal the great knowledge. And for the first time, the religious synthesis of the international community was meant uh, to give the a great understanding uh, to people. Uh, and uh, she said that it was worth saving humanity in the epoch of socialism. But uh, this uh, martyr act gave her the crown, so let us send her our love. By moving to our way, we should gather all our priceless experience. Everybody who travels takes uh, with him or her all he or she needs uh, travel. But not everyone remembers that the person in eternal trip, uh, in our earthly life and everywhere in other lives. And this way goes through different worlds in different signs. And uh, uh, the guide star can have different rays, not only light of short paths of people who come for a short time. Uh, the HPP road, uh, that the back and light upon which the eyes are followed theosophists are fixed is the same toward which in all ages the imprisoned human soul was struggled. This back whose light shines upon no earthly seas, but which has mirrored itself in the somber depths of the primordial waters of infinite space, is called by us at the early, as by the earliest theosophists divine wisdom. This is last word of the esoteric doctrine. This path consists of essence, a sense, and the sense conceals many insights, trials, then just traps and obstacles, gains and losses, meetings and partings, joys and sorrows, friends and enemies. Gathering the priceless experience, the wandering spirit is gradually able to realize that its energetic baggage of alleged feelings, true knowledge, beauty of thoughts, and heart file are the best qualities of consciousness, talents and abilities are the best, and they lead to the one, uh, and the descending paths break up into many slumbering roads and paths. The one's plummet is eliminated by the light of master, and the heart of spiritually arising traveler is able to be eliminated by it. The fire of self-sacrifice, which burns away the fetters of personality in the unveiling soul, the purity of intentions, the clarity of thoughts and feelings will give strength to heroically cast the anchor to was into the future to meet the higher inspiration which will encourage and revive the spirit and open the new gate on the steps of self-improvement. Let us recall how in theosophy energies of macrocosm unfold when from universal waters of Akasha the third logos begins to create or to reflect uh, characteristic transient waves manifested by the powers of Maya. The waves are defined by Vedanta as names, forms and causes. Then the sound of Akasha becomes the word illuminated by the light of higher manas and the uh, buddhic heartiness of all wise Sophia. H. P. Blavatsky explained, the last vibration begins outside the time and space and ends with the third logos. When time and space begin uh, or uh, with periodical time. The second logos partaking of both the essences of nature so the than the last, there is no differentiation with the first logos. Differentiation only begins in the latent world thought with the second logos and receives its full expression or becomes the word made flesh with the third. A similar thing happens in the microcosm of a spiritually aspiring pilgrim of the radiant, uh, radiant city. From silence in his inner kingdom of a god, a real faith begins to emerge, transforming the whole inner man. Spiritualized thought formed in the timelessness becomes the conscious creator of forms of the future. Above, you can see this uh, the picture by Mr. Rerich, uh, the traveler of the light city, symbolizing what we're talking about right now. 
and this inspired traveler with his microcosm. And inside, silent, in a cell, uh, has the ray of love, hope, and uh, faith. Uh, and the thought formed out of timelessness becomes the conscious creator of forms of the future. Atma, Buddha, and Manas correlate with spirit, voice, and word. Uh, this way, they're related and tried of the number. Uh, the creating word uh, becomes the light shining in the darkness. That is how the light of the true culture emerges. It is how, by chance, that Nikolai Rurich, the word culture has an ancient Sanskrit root, ur, meaning ur light, fire, thus culture. In the highest sense, means veneration of light, the creative divine fire, which is able to begin the spiritual transmutation of the inner man. Every spiritually aspiring traveler is likened in some way to Prometheus, including all the sacrifice consequences that await any light bearer giving fire to men along the way, which is especially characteristic of Kali Yuga. And that is what was done by H.P. Blavatsky and H. I rare. You know uh, that there are about uh, 400 definitions of culture, but uh, the higher definition, the concept of culture, I think was given by Rarichs as they were proceeding from theosophical thought. Uh, the service should bring better for everywhere and, and uh, uh, to, uh, it will lead people to a brighter future. Let us not think that a better future is only my, especially now at the end of Kali Yuga, we should realize that the brighter future is a reality and only a human malice can retard the coming of the new luminous age. They will ask you how it's possible to reconcile the threatening signs of the destruction of the planet with possibility of a harmonious and auspicious future. The fact is that humanity has a free choice either or to enter a new life, the age of great discoveries, the era of happiness, or by power of free will to choose catastrophe. We observe the quite fantastic and constant ways of thinking. Scientists come together to work for future and to ignore the barbarians' clubs poised to strike just above our heads. Our age is constantly sending warnings, but we are unaware of danger. People ignore them. They want to be saved. They uh, don't want to be disturbed. This age is difficult. People refuse to hear the significance of their destructions and wars, which cause uh, great things up to the subtle world. Here you see uh, uh, revelations of the free will and karma of what is happening to ideas. So, uh, from respecting the light, that's very uh, this um, great light that we mentioned by commenting HPB, when uh, this period, the voice and the word emerge, the word. Is about, or the word is about culture. As you can remember, uh, the uh, goddess of Mu Buddhism. And uh, she is respected in Hinduism and Buddhism. In Hinduism, it helps Brahma to create um, uh, the universe to put together a light, earth, and um, uh, sky, and uh, in Buddhism, uh, she it comes together with Bodhisattva, uh, female and male uh, characteristics together are about creation. So uh, Brahma being part of a Trimurti with Vishnu and Shiva has three faces, uh, Brahma uh, Raj, Brahma Bhak, and Brahma Prajapati. Brahma Prajapati. Uh, translated from Sanskrit as the progenitor, ancestor of the creative force of the universe, their synthesis. He being separated into male and female components, generates in them back and virus. The universal differentiation reveals two natures, the more material viraj and the more spiritual bhak. The latter is Sarasvati, actually bhak means speech in Sanskrit. Brahma's female logos manifestation of the divine thought base in the world. Here you can see uh, pictures by Mr. Rarich, probably known by many. Uh, they are uh, above, uh, they are ahead of waiting for the great advent uh, that is mentioned in many religions. Uh, that is Maitreya, uh, Kalki Avatar, one of incarnations of Vishnu that is awaited. Then you can see uh, the Edwin, the great writer, 
uh, from Shambhala related to Valtre, the second uh, revelation of Christ, of their faces are known and right now the time comes when you can by all hearts be adhering to this aura this fire of this aura right now makes the whole humanity change it purifies everything that is not enough in new stages of evolution and makes us hope makes us aspire and guides those who seek truth and who had enough experience in the past who has purified the aura and the mind. Uh, the road to success, as, as Vinikananda Swami said, is related to concentration. He said, take off one idea, make that one idea your life, think of it, dream of it, live on that idea. Let the brain, muscles, nerves, every part of your body be full of that idea and just leave every other idea alone. This is the way to success. Uh, Ramakrishna said, a God is in all men, but not all men are in God. That is why we suffer. Uh, that is actually the start of this uh, cycle of suffering of people. Uh, please do remember of Buddha, who has experienced it through his life, while well, as he was liberating himself from suffering. Here, uh, by talking about the wayfarer and the trip, you can say that every wayfarer goes to the Lord himself. And in order to be at this path, you can uh, put uh, the highest goal for yourself and then uh, no road will appear forbidden one must adjoin to the higher quality throughout all experience one must accept the higher measures as a loan worth of the highest forces only a trained and tempered imagination gives it uh, access to the fire reward uh, please do remember that uh, as a uh, rhetoric uh, Rerich's uh, picture was delivered uh, to uh, Tolstoy. Uh, Tolstoy said that life will destroy everything, uh, no matter what. But it doesn't mean that we shouldn't follow the higher star. It's not um, uh, our um, uh, scene uh, to follow the higher star, uh, because we're talking about the inner truth. Without inner, there is no outer. And uh, according to Hinduism, as uh, Swami Vivekananda said in Chicago in 19, uh, but, uh, in 1793, um, uh, the uh, upcoming of him, man and woman, uh, it's following, uh, it follows the same goal. Every religion is only evolving God out of a material man, and the gods aspire to follow them. Why then so many contradictions? They are only apparent, says the Hindu. The contradictions come from the same truth self to the variety of circumstances in different natures. In the same light, coming through glasses of different color, in the heart of everything, that same truth, right? the Lord is, has declared to the Hindu in his incarnation as Krishna, I am every religion that I thread through a string of pearls, uh, wherever thou sees extraordinary holiness and extraordinary power raising and purifying himself, then know that I am there. You know, as above, so below, uh, the uh, Trismegist Hermes uh, alchemic principle. And coming back to HPB, here you can see Saraswati picture. And we go back to birth of the world, of the pardon, of the word. A um, a poem came to my mind of Aphrodite, uh, who is born out of foam. The first line is the father, mother, and then comes father, mother, and the second logos, that is to say, the manifested word. For instance, in Hini Burano, it said that the first production of Akasha is sound. The sound means the simply speech of expression of the unuttered thought. And in which the Greeks and Platonists called the Logos. It's not so precise translation of commentary to HPP, 
uh, secret doctrine, but actually the sense is right. And you all know uh, St. John, the evangelist. In the beginning was the war, the microcosm and the microcosm are built in the same plan, just as the individual soul is encased in the living body, so the universal soul is the living prakriti. Shiva is embracing uh, Kali, is embracing Shiva, uh, and the abstract idea can be manifested only through variety of forms. Uh, and so that is why uh, in the beginning there was the word. Uh, the Buddhist Bodhisattva, um, she is a great companion of Gajurtama Buddha, also uh, having several aspect, aspects, uh, some of which are worthy of attention. One of his names in Sanskrit, um, Madhukosha, uh, means the sweet voice, uh, and he's also known as Vagishvara, which is in Sanskrit translated as Lord of Speech. Esoteric wisdom associates him with one of the masters of light, Tian Kogans, so in Sarasvati. Sarasvati, the goddess of wisdom and learning, beauty and art, initially correlates with a higher manners, but is extended to more earthly forms of culture in art, science and spiritual teachings. Let us recall that the symbol of the banner of peace proposed by Anurarich, this symbol, you can see it, and you all know it, as a protective sign of universal values of culture, and some of its many and often used uh, meanings in, in interpreted as synthesis of art, science, and religion in common circle of culture or the past, the present, and the future in the circle of eternity. It means unity of three masters, Buddha, Christ, and Manitria, the symbol of the spirit's immortality. Here you can see a bit more precise description of uh, symbols of the goddess Kali in uh, Timurti aspects. Uh, aspect you can you know that Lakshmi, Saraswati, and Kali are reflections of the female principle, of the great female principle. Kali is Durga. Uh, Kali is both mother and wife of Shiva. She is mother of universe, capable of destroying all limitations to forms, passions, and corporality. She is terrifying because she frees from illusions of different worlds, although she herself has illusionary manifestations. Shiva comes to life through its Shakti energy. The fifth its necklace symbolized the letters of Devanagari Sanskrit and their heads of Asuras demons embodying the perverse and malicious qualities that prevent recognition of mother of all things. Licking blood is the principle of karma from the head of demon is the symbol of passion of Rajas in thoughts and desires from which Kali helps the still living head to get rid in order to be seen behind her blackness, the radiance of pure sattva, a tongue which is stuck out of is, uh, the symbol of wonder in India, but it also gives birth to words. Kali not only destroys and disobeys to yet and rebuild the, uh, the future, which is dark for the un unenlightened mind, that can be Kali, the better. Kali also symbolizes the time symbol aspect of Kala, uh, which is absorbed by itself. It is the night of eternity, Maya herself, loving and caring, mother of all for sake, self cognition, as she gives the way to defeat Maya through Vidyamaya. Uh, and uh, Ramakrishna was mentioning it in more details. Ramakrishna spoke that when you have uh, uh, your wound in your uh, inside your body, you should may, uh, put something sharp on it in order to purify your wound. Uh, this uh, sharp uh, object is actually video Maya, but everybody in the labyrinth and uh, puts all closer ones to this labyrinth and finally they are in the deadlock. So only video Maya can bring you to this enlightenment and the result that we are seeking for right now. Uh, it's in spirit that the man can exist in the unfired space of this past, present and future, uh, getting back to symbols, but only the future can be changed. Time is illusion, it's child of continuity an equal of eternity. The main instrument of this change thought 
uh, according to the Buddhist outlook, which was perfectly defined from the scientific positions of George Ehrlich, a person with a, a stream of consciousness is burdened with karma, but such a flow is also a form of the past, spontaneous or conscious, forced or free, creative, full of daring or dull. And I feel this time dragging of the waves of phenomena and circumstances brought by karma. But there can be various currents in the stream, including those that are opposite to the main direction, upstream and downstream, or pools of stagnation that, for example, in a river around just rocks and other obstacles, but it's a terrible potential and potentially more one powerful than the external action. So the karmic responsibility and retribution for it is more significant. We will have to be responsible for each of our thoughts, words and deeds. Life. Uh, right now, uh, all the whole humanity should concentrate all its efforts on protection of fresh so of creative power banner, which we propose for protection of treasures of culture. Not also, uh, it's not always successful, but it reminds us of our treasures we have, and it will give human spirit another stimulant, the inspiration of future, inspiration of uh, esteem for all concerns of the evolution of humanity. No one can dare to say that the project of safeguarding the treasures of human genius uh, can be exaggerated. No, every deepening of this consciousness brings new cultural opportunities. Thus, our proposal will offer possibility for revising and cataloging, pardon, cataloging veritable treasures and put them under protection of all mankind, uh, not only during the war, but I emphasize it during so-called peace, because what is happening is worse than all pandemics, uh, epidemics. Uh, because right now the spirit is falling asleep, but when uh, there are some tensions, the spirit can awaken. So, uh, speaking of cosmic responsibility, within the context of cosmists, thought, there is a uh, Vladimir Vernadsky will talk about it because actually it was he who created the basis for a scientific picture of the world. And he said uh, that to understand scientific means to frame a phenomenon into scientific reality of the cosmos. And Helena Rerich said it, uh, rightly that the whole cosmos is built upon the law of responsibility, or is it is more often called the law of cause and effect, the law of karma. And it's quite impossible to ignore the law and to neglect it without bringing it on in the long run self destruction. Uh, Nikolai de Berdyaev was also writing down in the cosmos with properties of living, ethically organized, reasonable being, which, uh, with whose life each human life is inseparably linked. Uh, the degree of responsibility for this uh, death-bound condition of nature depends upon the degree of freedom and upon the, the a higher plane of a hierarchy place in the cosmos. Man is, man is more responsible and stones are least responsible. The Tsar is more responsible uh, than the lowest of its subject. The liberation and creative absurd of all men and creation of the cosmos, the destinies of microcosm and macrocosm are inseparable. They rise and fall together. Man cannot escape the cosmos. He can only change it or transform it. The cosmos shares the fate of man, and hence the man shares the fate of cosmos. Only the man who takes the place in the cosmos prepared for him by the creator has the power to transform the cosmos into a new heaven and new earth. Uh, some people who study astrology and says about cyclic character of time, about terms that come, I can say that there are some uh, terms who uh, can be avoided and those who cannot be avoided. And right now, such a video is coming. And um, the consciousness of people, uh, which is not um, ready, can change these cosmic terms. And unfortunately for Earth, it's happening right now. It can be uh, slowed down for a while, but all the cosmos is related not only to the solar system, but also to other uh, stars and constellations. HPB uh, puts an emphasis on that, saying that about responsibility, we are responsible for everybody, and we cannot separate us with the cosmos. We are in the cosmos, and cosmos is in us. But only as we understand it, uh, we can be part of this existing. Uh, so, uh, some 
questions of our existence are already solved, but nobody wants to bear responsibility for any thought, for any word and deed. So we are coming to the earth uh, till we uh, follow our responsibility of our improvement, of improvement of the earth and all spheres around will fa uh, finish um, a responsibility and improvement and then we'll go to the ladder of improvement in diamond uh, uh, shine energies of earth uh, create uh, mean uh, that why in constant battle between uh, karma and freedom of will karma is related to every cell of our organism in uh, pure words uh, there are fights for a person between uh, good and evil processes of uh, the third bad like happening uh, between waves of chaos and purifying for the better of calm for freedom from karma uh, transformations is better uh, for uh, going upwards in the space and it will open the gate uh, for sparkles from uh, the higher and from the heart and uh, then it will be a way to the future and i'd like to finish and uh, then I would like to mention this quotation from Madame Rarich and about unity of the mankind. Uh, what Vinaykananda has mentioned, what Rarich has mentioned, and what Vernaski uh, from a scientific positions mentions theological posi uh, posi necessity of evolution for unity of the mankind. It's a creatory synchronism, isn't it? Vernadsky, I hope that he'll see it in the future, and he tells all of that. Here you can see a rare pact and the World League of Culture. Actually, it states evangelic principles uh, of the Sermon on the Mount, blessed are the peacemakers, for they'll be called sons of God, of the League of Culture is what I wanted to mention. About the future, small quotation, events will help the culture move but a large refuge. Let no one think that this movement is not new, it will be the threshold of the new world. Thank you so much, Mr. Teratiev. But you wanted to tell about Blavatsky and quote her. Can I? I think everybody knows these quotations more than once they read it, I think. Thank you so much, Mr. Teratiev. You have such a global study and propositions for the future to think like that, to propose this maximum information. Uh, it is what only the practical researcher can do who lives in the future. Yeah, thank you so much for ways that you opened. Thank you so much. Let us live in the future with our thoughts. And for that, the thoughts should be fiery and high.